booked into the county jail, and DCF's going to be notified um, for your basically poor parenting today. This is your daughter? Yes, unfortunately. You're going to jail. You're not, you're not going on to the holiday. Yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up? It is your boy once again with another, another episode of Foolery. Now, how many times I done told y'all to stop going in Walmart and trying to steal? How many times? But you young ladies, I don't know what it is with you ladies, are always going in Walmart trying to steal. And Walmart has cameras everywhere. So I tell y'all, stay out the country mall. If you want to pick, you know, you want to be sticky fingers, stay out the country mall. Walmart not playing with you. But now we have these mothers come in there with kids. And you know if you get caught, you're subject to have your kids taken away. But you take the chance anyway because you're not smart. So let's get at another one, man. Let's get at another one, another dumb mother out here putting the kids at risk. So before we jump it off, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe, like, and share, and definitely smash that notification to get the what? The next video. So no further ado, let's get it. Just after 7 p.m. at a Walmart in Live Oak, Florida, where one mom's sticky fingers are about to land her behind bars. Hello. Hi. How's it going? Hey. Oh. No. Um, Hello. So, What's no ID. Okay. Neither, neither no. Has on the card. She has, she has something on her phone. But it's not a... Hang on, okay. a Sorry, that's okay. So, the total you have... Uh, hang on, let me give you a grand total. I got two receipts. 148.70 combined. Um, the stuff on the left... She said, this is her sister, don't know, there's no ID and she doesn't want to talk. And then this one here, she gave me the false information first, her name, but since told me the truth, her name is Madison, okay. and that stuff she concealed. So all together, they concealed around the baby in the stroller. Wow. And pushed it out the gym door. Nice. Yeah. How old are you? Wow. So they basically hid the stolen items inside the baby's um, stroller. So you put the items inside the stroller around the baby. So you basically use the baby to help steal items out of Walmart. Wow. Boy, some of y'all. I just don't understand why they just, this automatic law where they, the mother gets the children. Just... 14. Got you. You ever been in jail before? Okay, you might be going today. Who do you know that can come pick up your child? Start making some calls. The deputy identifies one shoplifting suspect seen here as 20 year old Madison Robotham, who allegedly hid various toiletry items in her baby stroller. Let's continue. You both have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in court. You have the right to consult with and have present an attorney before, during, and after questioning. If you decide to speak with me about the incident, you can stop at any time. Do you understand your rights? Okay. Now, the other person back here that's blurred out is because she's a minor. See, she's a, a teenage minor. And so, a uh, big girl here, I don't know why she, they always have these little young girls rolling with them when they go do stuff. But, you supposed to be the example. You know what I mean? But you're not teaching her anything. I don't know who this girl is yet, so let's figure this out. So what, what stuff did you conceal? Um, uh, can I just pay for it? No, ma'am. Why y'all think you can pay for it after you try to steal it? And it's a small baby. Right, like so the baby might be like here? six or eight months. What's up? Alright, 
We all work together to hide about $150 worth of stuff. Right. Gotcha. It's not long until we learn one of our suspects is about to catch a break. How long is it going to be here for We're going to be here for a little bit. This is just sad, man. This is sad. What's, what's Walmart's policy on juveniles? You won't? No. Okay. All right, you want to prosecute on the... You want to prosecute on the adult, right? Yeah. Okay. You heard that right. The 14-year-old, let's just say alleged participant in the crime, won't be facing any charges, while the adult in the situation, well, that's a different story. So why, why'd y'all take the items? I mean, what was the... Okay, no problem. All right, well, I'll tell you right now. You're under arrest, okay? Um, you're you're going to go... Yeah, well, I didn't tell you you were under arrest then. I was reading you your rights for detainment. But you are under arrest now for retail theft and also contributing to the delinquency of a minor, okay? You worked in um, conjunction and allowed a minor who was in your custody to commit a crime. That wow. in itself is a crime. So you're going to have two charges. This is also going to be forward to the Department of Children and Families since you had a, a toddler with you, okay? So the Department of Children... It's not a toddler. That looks like a toddler to me. It's not a toddler. Okay. Well, you can argue with me all you want. I'm telling you what you're being charged with. You're going to be booked into the county jail. And DCS is going to be notified um, for your basically poor parenting today. <laughs> she doesn't know what a toddler is. Uh, everybody can see that's a toddler. That's a baby. She's like, he's not a toddler. He's not a toddler. What, what if she thought that meant? I, I, I wish they would explain it. But I just so I just show you that you really need to get out and talk to your daughters, mothers, fathers, I don't care who it is, before they make these type of mistakes. Now, she's 20. She probably had the baby at 20, pregnant 19, which means you're still an adult. But you don't have good sense, man. You, you don't even know what a toddler is, and, but and you're holding it in your hand. That's the crazy thing. And see, we out here just allowing these these young ladies to have kids, nobody's talking to them about protecting themselves. And I know everybody say, but the men, what about the men? You have to protect yourself. I can't talk about what some dude who is reckless out here. All I know is if he get reckless with your body, you got to carry that baby and you might be subject to raise that baby. That's what I will say. So if you... Want to do all that with some knucklehead while her just having fun? Then go right ahead, or you can just show her or teach your kids how to be safe and don't allow no knucklehead to get you locked up, I mean, knocked up like that. That's all I'm saying. Get mad at the wrong person. I know that's what y'all like to do. But truth hurts, but it is what it is. The world doesn't owe you any understanding. What's your case number? What are the charges again? Contributing to the delinquency of a minor and retail stuff. Delinquency of a minor and retail After realizing she's not exactly getting off easily, Madison has a request for the deputy. I'm sorry? Why don't you have the baby stuff with you? Terrible parenting. You don't even bring the baby stuff in case they have an accident while you out and about walking around through the store. You can take the baby in the bathroom and change the baby. You don't have nothing with you. I guess you're saving space so you can put more stuff bad in the, in the stroller. Bad, bad moves. 
Where's your car at? Oh, get to find it now. Let's go. She out here don't even know where the car is. What's the other girl's relation to you? She's um, my neighbor. Your neighbor. I swear I'm fucking Why is she looking for this car? This is a crazy thing. Why are you hanging, you're 20, going on 21, hanging with a 14-year-old? And see, I, I brought this up a while back. You know, we was trying to have these little community talks and all this stuff. And I tried to tell people, be aware who your kid's hanging out with. I said, because there's always an older one that's pretty much leading the crowd. So if your kid's about 14 to 16, there's always about a 20, 23-year-old hanging out with them. And to him, he looked like he's cool. He might have a car, probably still at home. Might have a job, so he got a car. He can ride around. He can bump that music, putting all kind of crazy stuff in his car that he don't need. That's illegal, and it looks cool to a fourteen to sixteen year old. So they all hanging around him, and now you going and doing stuff that he that held him up from moving, you know, further in life. Now you're a fourteen, sixteen year old doing it. So he don't care about getting locked up. His life already ruined, but he'll get your fourteen to sixteen year old all caught up. And now it's cool because nobody wants to go to jail by themselves. Like I say, I ain't going to do this crime by myself. But y'all don't pay attention to this. Y'all let your kids run out here, 14, 16-year-olds, hanging out after midnight. No. Like I told my son, nothing is open for a, anyone under 18 after 12 o'clock. Nothing. So if you outside that time frame, you are in adults' lifestyle. Bring your ass home. No questions asked. Or you can just stay in the house. Because now it's adults coming out at 11.30 and 12 o'clock. There's no kids out there. So that means you'll be hanging in their space where you don't supposed to be. You see what I'm saying? So y'all need to start thinking like that instead of just, he'll be all right. This chick don't even know where she parked. How long you been in there? I'm sorry, I'm gonna Just hit the panic button and make the thing go off. Ma'am, I'm not looking for your car for you. Eventually, Madison finds her car when the nice deputy helps her gather a few things. Someone gonna pick up your car? Yeah. Okay. Could you just, so I can grab the bag or you wanna grab it? Sure. I'll grab it. Do this one right here? for her. Tampons, yeah. Okay, where are those at? They're back here. Mm -hmm. Your baby, right? Yeah. This amazes me Good how response. these mothers don't care when they go commit crimes with the kids. So it's a probably good 85, 90% chance that child's probably gonna get taken. The mom probably gonna have to take the child. said stay out the country mall if you're trying to steal walmart don't play Sorry, got like a me. million cameras in that place <laughs> i 
And this was just May of this year. Yeah. I'm going to have the uh, loss prevention girl go with you, okay? Mm -hmm. Pam, would you escort her to the bathroom and just kind of so she can change the child and do what she needs to do? <laughs> Surprised it just didn't call another police officer or female police officer in to deal with her in this situation. Steal from a business, it's retail theft. You obviously knew what you were doing was wrong, okay? Um, you can go to jail for that. Because of Walmart's policy, their policy is to not prosecute juveniles, because um, we were all young and dumb ones, we've all made mistakes, we've all done stupid stuff, all right? So you're not gonna be charged criminally today, all right? Um, what I will tell you is hanging out with people like that is gonna f your life up. I, and, and, yeah, I get it, I understand. And, and maybe she's a good person at heart. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying that she's a bad criminal person, but from my perspective, she's rolling around in a store with two juveniles, a toddler, and, and you. You're almost an adult, but not quite. A um, couple more years. <clears throat> and whatever you guys do, who's responsible for that? She is, because she's an adult. Okay. So yes, you did wrong, but also it's on an adult's, on it's an adult's responsibility to make sure that you do right. Okay. So you're not going to jail and you're not going to be criminally charged. Don't thank me for that. Thank Walmart. Okay? Because my job is to prosecute people who, uh, that, well, it's also to prosecute, ju prosecute juveniles, but only when the party that's the injured party, which would be Walmart in this case, wants something to be done. So if Walmart said we want to prosecute the juvenile, I'd, I'd be prosecuting. Okay? Or I'd be writing a report on it and you know, giving you a court date and that sort of thing. For her case, um, she stole quite a bit of money um, or of items that are worth quite a bit of money, 150 bucks. Um, and the aggravating factor is that you're a juvenile and the little one's a juvenile and in her presence for parenting. So maybe you have kids someday, don't make those same decisions. So, you know, but what you do now can have a drastic impact on your life. Like whenever that lady walked out, it's like whenever we were walking out of the store, I just had a feeling that, that lady she was like holding something, just looking at Madison. I was like, mm -hmm. I was thinking about seeing something, and the lady had already walked up to Madison. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're 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 getting off pretty easily here. Yeah, a little young okay. girl snitching. But you know, you <laughs> just because you're not an adult doesn't mean you can't be held accountable. You, you still can go to jail. You still can be arrested. Okay. You got it. I don't want to preach at you. I'm not your parent, but you, you don't want to go down this path, okay? All right. But still stay here until we get an adult to come pick y'all up. Wow. Do you have any questions? All right. It's not long until we learn this incident is not the teen's first rodeo. I was about to ask that. Like this before, or if you say yes, I'm not charging you with it. I'm just curious. Okay. So okay. she's a delinquent. Um, Stole some makeup or something like that? Um, no, it was my sister. It was like some hair or whatever. Okay. And yeah, they just had it like the kids were like playing in the house and they were like playing in the house. I'm like, who is watching over these kids? You know, when you see it on, like I see it on TV a lot. Um, a lot of these like really young kids out here 13 and 12 and 13 and they out late at night and they doing all these things and they just wandering around in stores all day. Nobody's checking to see where they at, why they there. No accountability where your kids are basically. You know what I'm saying? Or she could be, maybe this girl's supposed to be watching her. Maybe that's the whole situation. And she got her going around stealing stuff with her. Could be that. So, I always wonder about this stuff, man. I, no. Gotcha. Madison returns to the room 
and moments later, her mother arrives to pick up the baby. You have your ID, ma'am? Come on up. Yes, your daughter? Yes, unfortunately. Ooh. Y'all heard that? This is embarrassing. Embarrassing. Look how she grabbed the baby when the mom got ready to grab the baby. Thank you very much. The aggravating factor in this scenario is you have two juveniles that you're responsible for here. I have said you have nothing to do with her. How many times have I said stay away? Damn, so the 14 year old is a problem. And what was she stealing? And, and this, no, that's okay. And this business of, oh, they shouldn't be arresting me or whatever, you've committed a crime. So we make an arrest based on our judgment of the facts and circumstances, not whether you oh, we're, we're making we're making an ideal of this or that. Is this what you're stealing? Yes. Why? Because you're stealing toiletries. You don't need stuff, Madison. You've asked for enough money to buy stuff. You don't need to steal. The shit. No. So, I, I can imagine how this mom feels. I've seen in so many parents the disappointment in a child doing something so stupid. You're sitting there with the child. And you see when the mom went to try to get the child, she pulled the child away from her. No, you can't be that parent now. You got to go to jail. And then you try to say you're not, they shouldn't have to uh, arrest you. No, this is what happened. See, the thing is, all these new rules came out where they letting all these thieves get, get by. Oh, that's about to stop. I told y'all a while back, the wrong person, I'll put it this way, the right person get in the office, they're going to shut all this craziness down. All of it. All this wokeness and doing all what you want, saying what you want, out here running in stores, stealing stuff, and nobody can't say anything to you, all that stuff going to stop. She just assumes she can go out here and break the law and shoplift, and see, people probably done just rolled her up and trespassing, and she going her way. But no. You got two juvenile, well, a toddler and a 14-year-old with you, and you got the 14-year-old helping you steal. Well, you got the toddler, too, because you putting it in the toddlers, using the toddler to hide the stuff. So, yeah, you're a terrible parent. Terrible. You don't worry about me, though. Stop. 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 Because where you're going, you're going to worry about yourself. Is, is the actual country you're born in the United Kingdom or Wales or? England. Ang England? Yeah. yeah. I always get confused what's considered UK and. Yeah, I'm not Irish. Yeah. Okay, right. That's Northern Ireland, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh now you wanted to get her. Has he been dead? You'll be out tomorrow morning. I'll be out tomorrow morning. Yeah, I don't think you're going to have a bond because of the delinquency of a minor thing, so not tonight. You won't have a bond, but tomorrow you will. It's not going to be a lot. It's probably going to be 10, 5,000, 10,000, so 10% of that is what would get you out. $500, $1,000, something like that. He said okay. that. <laughs> what happens if we don't have the bond money? He said that's not like a lot. People out here are struggling. So when you're saying, I got to come up with an extra five hundred to to $1,000 just to get her out, People, a lot of people do not have $1,000 in their accounts right now. For some reason, everybody thinks everyone's out here balling. But like they said, the average person don't have $3,000 in their account. So to assume they have $1,000 just to give, 
for a bond. Like, you don't get it back no matter what. Just because she out here for $92, she's still going to cost her mom $500 to $1,000 to get her out. And she ain't going to pay her back. She don't work. You can look at her and tell she don't work. Just sitting at home with her baby, and the mom already said, they give her everything, which is another problem. Stays until her trial. Okay. Your ass might not be getting out tomorrow. And it might do us some justice. Let us sit in about five days. Speaking of dads. The deputy has one more question for our suspect. Where's the father of the child? You don't know? Just not. Not, not, not involved in the situation? Okay. Just out there spreading legs, man. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. And I'm not... I'm not making judgments on that, just if he wanted to come pick up the child or if he's a Mexican or... No, there's people to go to us because his side of the family, everyone on their side is just not present. Okay. A short time later, the father of that 14-year-old arrives. Let's see how that goes. Man, can you imagine getting that hey, call? Yeah, you got your ID with you? No, I don't. Man, I just in the car. That's all right. I got the... My had the star on it. Alright, so your daughter told you what's going on, right? Sir. Your daughter told you what was going on? Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. Well, she's not being charged, not going to jail. Uh, don't thank me for that. Thank Walmart. They have a policy where they don't prosecute juveniles. Okay? Um, 14. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the 14 is the policy cut off? No, I'm not, I'll tell you later. Okay, okay. Right. right. Okay. But I will tell you this if she. Her information will be in her system. If she gets caught doing it again at any other Walmart, she will be charged. Okay. Even if you're 14. Yes. Yeah. And if your dad will go with you, and you'll just be peaceable about it. But you know. All right. No, no, you're all set to go. Um, do you have any questions for me? Basically, she she took some stuff. She's um, a juvenile. Walmart elects not to prosecute, so she's getting off scot free. She's still being listed as part of the report. Um, they should they probably should stay away from each other. All right, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. See, he already got a problem, child. You too, man. Yeah, yeah. The teen leaves with her father, and before heading to jail. Madison has a few questions for the deputy. Uh, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So if I don't get bail tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, how long will I be in there? Could be a couple months. Could be a couple years. I mean, it just depends. It's not going to be a couple years, but I'm just saying it will be until your trial. Uh, but you can bail out at any time as long as you have a bond. You could bail out. Probably, probably going to be five thousand. I think five to ten thousand. The petty theft is not going to be a lot. The, the fact that you're uh, responsible for two juveniles at this time, that's what's going to you know, be the... the like, you might be sitting in jail for a while, young lady. Could you not put me in handcuffs? I promise I won't do anything. Yeah, that's fine. It's just that really uncomfortable. Yeah, that's fine. Well, listen, ma'am. Get arrested isn't comfortable. I know, I know. I understand. All right, and I'm you seem, you seem to be listening to me. You seem to have this attitude of like, oh, well, I did wrong, but, you know, everything's will be bend and flex. No, you're not. You're not going to be bending and flexing for me. You seem to have this attitude of like, oh, well, I did wrong, but, you know, everything will bend and flex for me. And that's not how it goes. You're in the custody of the state now, for the county. Now, he put cuffs on her when she walked out to get the stuff for the baby stuff. But now she don't want the cuffs on. I wonder why. And that's the thing when they, it's uncomfortable. Yeah, it's meant to be uncomfortable. It is not meant to be a, a luxury item. That's what I don't understand, but watch this. With that, the deputy decides it's time to get Madison on her way to jail. I apologize for what's 
something. Everybody, everybody makes mistakes. Everybody gets in trouble so at some point in their life. You know what I mean? But this business is, it, with the juveniles being present, is unacceptable. All right. All right, let's go. I'll get with you later. Yep. Yep. You got your phone with you? What else you got with you? Now, do y'all notice anything different? Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. That's fine. All right, we're going to. Why didn't he put the cuffs on her? You put them on to go out. See, and this is where a lot of officers make the mistakes. Because, see, now if she start running and start fighting with him, he got to explain why did she break free? Why was she not cuffed? Or she run and knock somebody else over trying to get away. He's going to lose his job. But why didn't you cuff her the second time? You see what I'm saying? Now, I'm not even going to say. I'm not even going to say. I'm not even going to pitch that out here. I think he just, I don't know. I really don't know. Why didn't you cuff her? Because you cuffed her to go out to the car to get the baby items. Now she asked you not to cuff her to go out, which I don't understand because you already don't walk all through the parking lot with cuffs on. Go no, this way to um, my car, okay? Could I get my, some of my clothes out of See, my car? See, all this quick? shit. You well, need to what? Get some of my clothes out of the car. What do you need your clothes you for? You don't need anything. They will not let you take anything in. Okay. You're going I to jail. Know. You're not. You're not going. See, on, she don't understand. Uh, she's going to jail. Know, know. You're going to be in a jail cell, not not in a uh, hotel room. All right, let's go to the white car over there. Thank you, ma'am. Right. I'm not trying to be harsh, but it is what it is. You, no. Got to learn someday. Let's go. Madison was booked at the Sewanee County Jail for pettit theft and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. See, and that's the thing, man. These kids don't get it. It's like, let me tell you what's funny. When, um, like I said, I, I was a recruiter for the military for a while my, before I retired. And uh, we would have kids getting ready to leave. You know, we had to take them, set them, you know, take them to the hotel for bait. They ship off the basic and stuff like that. They would show up with PlayStation, um, laptops, books, all this shit, like they going to sit up in a dorm somewhere. And I say, whoa, whoa, where you think you're going? No, you got to leave all that. You're going to basic training. You're not going to have anything. Now, jail is worse. Because at least basic, you come back, you might come back home or you going on with the military. And jail you just going from sale to sale. You're not getting anything but that jumpsuit. That's it. And y'all don't understand it, but, hey, man, once you locked up, you're an adult now. Ain't nothing else left. This is just piss poor parenting. And we got a lot of that going on because a lot of you, as soon as your daughters or somebody have a child, the grandparents take over. And y'all start doing everything. And don't make them be responsible or accountable. And then they start hitting back out in the streets. That's why you'll see they still live at home with their moms. And they done had three kids. Three or four kids. How, how does that happen? Because mom is taking care of the kids. The daughter ain't taking care of them. She's still out here popping and spreading and doing everything. No accountability. Living off you. But just y'all think y'all doing something because y'all taking care. Y'all more concerned about the kids, but she keep bringing more kids, which make you spend more of your money and your time when you should be enjoying life. But you raise an irresponsible child, and now you stuck with irresponsible duties. Well, guys, y'all let me know what y'all think about this piss poor parent, and uh, maybe somebody will learn something from it. I don't know, but. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe, like, and share on your way out. And definitely smash that notification. Appreciate y'all coming in. Appreciate all the new supporters. And it's your boy. I'm up out of here. Peace. Man.